Donerke. Kidd. Barnes. Barnes away from one man and got a shot. Good save again by Cooper. But what an electrifying burst by Peter Barnes. Again, City have thrown Booth and Watson forward. Royal and Kidd in the area as well. It's headed away by Hunter, back in by Clements, out again by Mills, back in by Booth. Kidd is going on, and the referee has given the goal. Ipswich got it out twice, but then Booth nodded it through. Kidd managed to knock it down, chased it in, and the goal came from short range. 1-0 through Brian Kidd. Owen, Talbot, Mills. Still Mills. Why Mark? It's gone round Corrigan and has scored. So the tactical switch played off. The appearance of Mills in midfield did the trick. He shook off the challenge from Gary Owen went forward, was aware all the time that Trevor Wymark was running ahead of him, slipped the through ball, nicked me into Wymark's path, Wymark on, round Corrigan, the angle was a bit narrow, but no mistake. Royal watching it drop out of the sun, Henry couldn't get a foot to it, and Woods puts it over his own crossbar. Claiming that he was pushed, realizes that he'll get no change from Mr. Taylor and so it's everybody back all 11 of the Ipswich players like a bed of daffodils in that penalty area corner from Barnes and a beautiful header Dave Watson was surprised and Corrigan was relieved. 